My Academia chapter 323 is now out. Now everything that went on last chapter and the unexpected apology from Katsuki Bakugo, we can expect more of the same from this chapter. But if you are new to the channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell notification to always stay notified whenever I upload. Also follow me on Twitter and add me on Discord, which will be in the description down below. But with all this out the way, we can finally get into chapter 323 of My Hero Academia. Now obviously a little bit of a recap for last chapter if everyone doesn't know, it's the ending of Deku versus Class 1A. Ida is able to save Deku and Deku runs out of power one for all and they're about to fall, Kirishima saves them. And we see Bakugo's apology come full circle and see how much he's grown to finally accept Deku as the better hero. And now Deku is now in UA, UA has different barriers and different defenses to protect the citizens and the students from upcoming villains. Ida brings up to Principal Nezu that with Deku's return, the citizens will be protected and they won't have the fear of a villain attack. Principal Nezu understands this and he says that they shouldn't go off of pure emotion and sheltering Deku here doesn't really seem like the great choice because he's basically a ticking time bomb waiting to happen since Shigaraki has search from Ragdoll. Giving Shigaraki Ragdoll's quirk was one of the biggest W's and the biggest L's for Hero Society, but the W for the villains. Principal Nezu then says that UA has the best defense barrier and it's alongside Tartarus, but Momo then brings up that Shigaraki was easily able to break in by just decaying everything and breaking out all the prisoners, and UA was attacked a year ago. The Principal Nezu actually understands that if UA gets attacked by a raid or you know, the villains, they can't really be protected. So the only option is for UA to move underground. Now, if an event of a villain actually coming in and trying to attack UA, UA's defenses when it's underground completely gets enhanced. So Principal Nezu really thought of a plan in case of the villains coming in and trying to ruin everything. Kaminari says that's straight out of a mecha anime, and Nezu then says, but if those systems were destroyed, they'd be defenseless. Nezu brings up that the circumference has 3,000 steel plates, so if they detect anything, the fence will automatically go off. This will buy you away some time to make a safe route so they can get out of there underground. Regarding the whole Toga thing, with how she can just copy the people's appearance, he even said that they merge with Shigetsu High underground. So if, you know, an attacker does come, they can merge Shigetsu High underground and it would probably knock off the defenses and the other people that are trying to come in. All this definitely seems like it's meant to come back Shigaraki's decay wave, but no one has saw it before. No one has saw the full capabilities of Shigaraki's decay wave or saw anything of the sort. They only saw his premature quirk, which only decayed things very, very slowly. And, you know, Tokuyami's just saying, yo, how the hell do you know this? Like, how do you know this? If you're going up against a villain and your principal will set up preemptive measures so you guys do not get killed by the enemy's, you know, decay wave. And now you're just gonna be wondering how the hell do you know this? And how does he know about Shigaraki's full capability of his quirk? Now, pretty suspicious indeed, but I could just talk about that in a different video. Principal said he just went with his gut feeling, so pretty weird indeed, but I'm not gonna think too much of it for now. Principal Nezu then says a lack of empathy and a lack of compassion and a lack of understanding were one step away from people just losing their faith in this whole society. And right now, the best they can do is keep on moving forward and stick together no matter what. But the best thing they can do right now is step one, save Izuku Midoriya. Now, back in the present, people are still yelling that Deku shouldn't be allowed into UA because he's a ticking time bomb and you just gotta see the downfall of your society. They are now not accepting a boy who is injured, who is tired, and who needs some rest and has been fighting for them, and he's not even going to be denied because he has a special quirk, and because Shigaraki is after him. So, the citizens are willing to sacrifice Izuku Midoriya because it's kind of tragic to see the downfall of your society. You see Izuku's mom, and she's just yelling Midoriya, and everyone's just yelling at Deku saying, get out, we don't need you here, you're just a ticking time bomb, all that crazy stuff, and it's just got to suck to be Deku because he came back because he thought that his friends really needed him, but knowing the state of society, just because Deku has a special quirk, they think that they're going to be in trouble if Deku stays. It was a point where Best Genius has to say that it was his idea to bring Deku here, and everyone's just shocked saying, Best Genius, you suggested this? Best Genius says their first act was to make Deku as bait so they can capture the villains and find out where they're hiding, but right now they've only got thugs and high class villains, which is Lady Nagat and Dictator and the other guy that Deku defeated. And right now, Deku is looking like he needs saving and a rest. So please let him in and give him that rest. And even though it may not be the best idea, but Deku is their greatest asset to the side of good. 
and right now let him stay here to have some rest it's the best that they can do and again knowing the state of hero society the citizens would soon retaliate and blame the heroes for not stopping the villains in the war so it's saying a lot this is kind of a crumble of hero society everyone's losing faith and they're blaming the heroes all the citizens say this is utter crap and are you guys even heroes and everything just starts breaking out loose they're just saying that like we just want to sleep in peace and they do not want deku here so again fall of hero society araka then decides to do something very useful and grabs the microphone from president mike and floats herself up in the air saying that deku has a special power and the citizen that was complaining saying that's why a guy like him can't be here and araka said that we brought him here because he left you a to protect us he didn't do this out of selfish desires he did to protect everyone araka then tells the public that his abilities are special and made to defeat all for one and right now he's the one that wants to change the situation the most emphasizing his claws and his feet because deck looks like a straight hobo out of a movie rocket tells him to take a good look at him and deku right now again looks like he needs rest and uraka says that he could be attacked at any moment and you guys know the fox girl that deku saved in the beginning of this villain hunt yeah she's there as well and she remembers deku saving her uraka then yells out that even though he has a special power doesn't mean he's a special person this power is more of a curse and I've seen many people make the video, and I have agreed fully. This power, one for all, is more of a curse than a blessing. Bakugo then says, even with a defense system like ours, they're still yapping. And he tells them that if you guys can't wipe something, we'll wipe it for you, because we're here to protect you. Then we get an inner monologue on the UA trader. I mean Principal Nezu, saying that the first step is always hard, but when you take that step, it leads to the birth of a hero who will one day surpass All Might, and it lands on Ochako. Which, oh no, she's surpassing all Might. Like, yeah, chill out with your horror, horror coaches. She ain't, she ain't surpassing all Might anytime soon. And that was the chapter. Overall, I think the chapter was pretty solid. A 7.5 out of 10 in my books. It could have been better, but what can you do? And this is actually the end of the video. So if you are new to the channel and you guys like, you know, chapter reviews and analysis or other types of content, you have come to the right channel. I'll comment down below what you guys really thought about the chapter and how much you loved Ochako's little moment. And I'm going to head up out of you guys. Peace out. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Have a good rest of the day. And stay safe. <laughs>